everyone. In this video, I will show you another way to handle this OpenAI token limit issue. So le let's first understand what this problem is. So I'm on my VS code and this is the exact error you will be getting. So whenever you are processing data, which is having more than 4097 tokens, it means it is going to show you this kind of error. So in my case, I tried with a huge text file, which is having around this much of tokens. So that's the reason I'm getting this error. Now, in your case, the same thing may happen if you are taking too much of data, your prompt size plus responses much more than 4097, then definitely you need a workaround wherein you can deal with this issue. So in my first video, I already spoke about this, how you can handle this partic issue, particularly using lang uh, chain, wherein we use various chaining mechanisms and saw that how we can improve the output based on those tricks. So if you do not want to go with LangChain, then definitely this is the video with tick token. So we are going to see how we can utilize tick token to encode and decode our chunks. So the very first thing you need to do here is you need to say pip install openai and another thing which you need is tick token. These are the two things which you need to install, but in my case, I have already installed these, so I'm not going to repeat this entire process. So let's quickly start by importing the things and see how we can handle huge input data. So I will say import OpenAI, then we'll say import tick token, and we also need OS because we need to read some files. So once this is done, I will quickly execute this cell and we'll add another code cell wherein we will define a function which will break our huge text into chunks with the overlap condition, whatever we are providing. So let's define that function first. We'll say read file create chunks and inside that we will say f name and then we will say chunk size. Let's keep this variable itself. And then I would say overlap. Okay, so the first is the file path or the complete file path. I would say the chunk sizes, uh, the how many or what are the token size you want to take for one particular chunk. So here you can say, so in my case, like I said, I'm having close to 14,000. So I will be taking somewhere around 3,000. And overlap is the parameter which will tell you uh, if you do not want to lose any information due to this chunk breakup then you can provide some good value over here. And if you are okay to lose some information here and there, then just set this value to zero. Okay, so once this is done, we need to set the encoding and I will name that variable as TT encoding. Then we'll say tick token dot get encoding. So here there are various types of encoding. I can quickly point you to the documentation first. So let's go here. And this is the official repo wherein you can find lot many things about tick token, like how to use, what is the performance uh, and all these things. But the model thing which I, uh, you can find is inside this. So model.py will tell you what all possible model it is supporting. So I'm taking just the last one GPT-2, but you can take any of these which works best for you. So once this is done, let's go back to so I'm using GPT-2 here. Then we need to go ahead and open our input file. So we'll say F name and we want in read mode. And let's provide encoding also. It is completely optional if you are getting error related to encoding, then only you need to provide. So in my case, there are high chances that I will get that error. So I'm just putting UTF-8 here. And let's say F. And then we are going to say file text is equals to f dot read. Okay, so now this variable is holding the text which is written inside the file. Now we are going to use this particular file text with uh, tick token to encode the text. So we'll say tokens uh, is equal to tt encoding dot encode. And inside this encode, we will say file text, okay? 
and then it is quite simple to get total number of tokens so let's say total tokens which is nothing but the length of our tokens okay so till here we got uh, what are the tokens how many tokens now we need to chunk our input file so let's create an empty va uh, variable chunks which is like a collection and it will hold everything related to chunk and i'm going to read this chunks with uh, this tokens thing and we'll come up with the individual chunks so here we will say for i in range let's start with zero take total number of tokens then we will say chunk size minus overlap because we do not want unnecessarily the data which we have already considered once it is done then we will just find out the individual chunk which is like a simple mathematic calculation i plus chunk size Okay, once this is done, we will quickly append it to our chunks collection, which we just created above. Okay, so now we have the chunks. Let's quickly return it from here. And we are done with. So whenever you are calling this function, it will read a file and it will return all the possible chunks based on the chunk size and the overlap we have provided over here. Let's run it so that we can validate there are no more issues. Okay. Once this is done, I will create another cell to make a call to this. So chunks equal to read file chunks. And here I am taking the same file which I have taken in my previous video also, the yellow white paper. This is the ebook which is for, from the Project Gutenberg. You can download it from the internet. It's freely available. So let's provide the path of this. So it is uh, stored in my data folder, the yellow paper yellow wallpaper dot txt and next parameter i need to provide chunk size so i will go with 3000 you can definitely change it based on your need and will go with just 50 characters as overlapping characters run it once and if you want you can print it here and validate it okay next thing is we need to write open ai things so for that we need to say uh, we need to first of all grab the open ai key and in my case i have already written in a configuration file so i'm just importing that and we'll say open ai dot open ai dot api key sorry open ai dot api key and it is inside my configuration dot open ai key so if you do not know from where to grab this i can show you so you can go to open ai platform.openai.com login and once you are logged in you can see that view api keys click on this and you can grab the one key from here so you can go ahead if you are doing it for the very first time and you have not created the keys till date then you can click on this create new key and if you have already created key and you have retained this with you somewhere, then you can reuse that same. So I have already done that and I have saved it in a configuration file, which is in a part of the same project. Okay, now we are done with it. Open AI initial things. Let me run this. Okay. And then we need to start encoding. So before encoding, let me tell you how we are going to read the chunks so for chunks we have already received the chunks in this chunks folder now we need to grab every single chunk and then pass it to the completion endpoint so we can do it using chunk in enumerate just pass in chunks here and then we can create a response so open ai dot completion dot create and inside this we need to pass all those parameters so you can go ahead and check it on uh, check it out the documentation i'm going to type it directly i'm going to directly type it here so i'm going with text davinci text davinci v i n c i 
0.002. Like I said before, you can take any other model of your choice and then we need to provide the prompt. So prompt, we can construct it directly here or if you want, you can declare a string above and construct this. Please summarize this. And here we will provide what we need to summarize. So we need to summarize the chunk, but chunk is already encoded here. If you can see the chunk, what we are receiving is an encoded form, which means that now we need to decode it. So for decoding, I'm going to declare uh, how we want to decode. So let's create a variable, tt encoding, tick token dot get encoding and make sure that you are using the same uh, model for encoding as well as decoding. So this is the GPT-2. Let me quickly show you again. Here also we have used GPT-2. So these both should be in sync. So encoding and decoding would be uh, exactly the same message. Okay, once this is done, we will just call it here, TT underscore encoding and decode method. And de what we are decoding is the chunk which we just read it from this a collection of chunks. Okay, next thing is we need temperature and the max token. Temperature, you can set it based on your choice. I'm going with zero. And if you want like, if you do not want your response to be in repeated form, then definitely you need to set some value for the temperature apart from zero. And then we will say max tokens equal to 350. So we are done. So this is the response. Now this is the response only from the single chunk. Now we, uh, but what we want is we want single summary for the entire book. So for that, I'm going to create one variable here, final response, and let's keep it empty. And whenever we are receiving response, we will just go ahead and append it to our final response. Okay, but here you need to set because response contains so many properties and we are interested only in the text property which is sitting inside choices. So again, this format, you can refer it from the documentation like why I am reading text or what this text contains. So once this is done, I think we are good to print our final response. Let's quickly try this out. It's going to take 12 to 15 seconds. Ah, it's taking more. But like I said, it is the text file is very large. It is having 13,000 plus tokens. So here you can see the summary. So this is a summary of the ebook the yellow wallpaper and the story is about a woman who is suffering from a nervous condition so this is quite a good summary so if you will read this you will get to know what this book is all about and at the end they're also saying the redistribution and trademarking thing so this is how you can read huge data and then just call the completion endpoint so i hope that you find this video useful and make sure to like it and share with your friends thanks for watching